Welcome to Metalworks Institute Keyboard Tips. My name is Peter Kadar and today we're going to be talking about the anatomy of a professional keyboard rig. So in this first installment, without getting too brand specific, I want to talk about the kinds of keyboards I have here, why I've got two of them, what their functions are, and uh, yeah, let's get into it. So, this bottom keyboard is what we call a workstation. So it allows you to do all kinds of stuff in one environment. It's got single sounds, I can create combinations of sounds which might be split or layered. I can have sequences running, I can sample with it and play back samples, I could stream audio off of the hard drive, and I've got a ton of different synthesis engines that all sound great, so it allows me to do all kinds of stuff, and if I need to do something that's very simple, or something that's really complicated, I can accomplish it with this board. Most importantly, it's got a really nice weighted action, so when I'm doing things like playing piano parts, I can really get into the sensitivity of the music. Yeah. Now, the top keyboard, the, uh, the main function of this keyboard up here is to emulate the Hammond organ. It has a bunch of really great electromechanical sounds like Rhodes and Wurlitzer and Clavinet, but because the action is very similar to a Hammond organ, it's got the waterfall keys and a very light action, it's really great for playing Hammond parts. <laughs> So, having these two boards together allows me to do everything that uh, a modern keyboard player can, will be expected to do in a live environment. I'm Peter Kadar for Metalworks Institute Keyboard Tips. Stay tuned for the next installment where I talk about the signal flow and how these sounds get from out of the keyboards into my mixer to the front of house. See you next time.